Reporter Terry Schultz. African author Chinua Achebe has died at 82. His worldwide fame started with the novel Things Fall Apart. Well, Kobe, Watch live, click on that, that will open up another box, which will then say, click here. So it's actually three clicks. It's uh, Comprehend 1240, that's your first click. Second click is to the left, watch live, third click, get you to the screen. And that's not bad. And you can watch a crisp, clear picture when our hosts are on the air, and or just listen to new streams. Good feed, too. Excellent feed. Remember, NASCARs were the exclusive home of NASCAR. Sundays, 1 o'clock, the American Outdoorsman. Saturdays before NASCAR Country, about 10. And then throughout the weekend, the official home of CBS Radio News. The best radio news in the nation. The CBS Radio News. Nuganomics with David Toulis. One to three, great show. David has fantastic guests every day, Monday through Friday. Preservative Talk Radio. We just heard David Allen Carmichael again with some fantastic guests. Now, as of Monday, David starts from 11 to 12. So David Allen Carmichael will be on 11 to 12 a.m. live starting this Monday. And then if you miss that, you'll hear a repeat of the show on Monday evening and every evening from 7 to 8 o'clock at night. Institute on the Constitution, 8 to 9, of course, starting the high school football when football starts in August. For the official home, so check that out at Copperhead 1240. So nice to have you along here. In case you missed it, a couple of things to celebrate. And then we actually missed this. I don't know how we missed this. On March 10th, it was National Abortion Provider Appreciation Day. Now, I'm not making this up. National Abortion Provider Appreciation Day. According to Newsmax, special day to celebrate work done by our friendly neighborhood abortionists. The Religious Coalition for Productive Choice, RCRC, which enjoys official unqualified endorsements from a coalition of liberal Protestants, Protestants, Jewish, Unitarian Universalists, and atheist slash humanist groups, marked the holiday by emailing supporters a statement entitled, quote, The Religious Coalition for Reproductive Choice, Thanks and Bless abortion providers, unquote. <laughs> now, it's just too bad their moms didn't abort them so they couldn't be around to celebrate killing unborn children. They're, they're really not religious people. Anybody that claims to be religious and is pro-killing an unborn child, it's just, a, it's just an out-and-out -out liar. It's just a coward and a liar. And I know that's not you. But if you're one that goes to church and pretends to believe in God most and then you go, but you know, I really, I'm pro, I'm pro, uh, not, not pro life, I'm pro, no, no, not pro choice. Um, I just think people always, who is that going to choose? I'm a man, and I can't. And that's how you say it too, because if you thought that way, that's how you can talk. No, I can't say, because I'm not a woman, and I can't tell what to do with their body, so, but I don't want children to be killed. You know, there's everyone that supports murdering an unborn child always will tell you, well, you know, I'm not for abortion. However, you know, it's uh, not my right to tell a woman what to do with her body. Really? So, prostitution should be legal? <laughs> well, how about if my body smacks your body? Is that okay? What about body, if I use my body to punch in the face? Is that okay? Oh, it's not! But it's okay to punch the baby in the face. Oh! 
We're not even punching the baby in the face. What we're doing is we're sucking it out with a vacuum cleaner and chopping it to bits. And in Philadelphia, this alleged murderer, Young Kim, according to the Philadelphia Daily Pravda, a liberal Philadelphia Daily newspaper, I think originally put printed in Russia, uh, Kermit Gosnell, 72 being tried in Philly, we heard of this for the deaths of seven, and I'm, I'm quoting here, fetuses. Fetuses. Yeah, did you go to school, you stupid jackass, young Kim? Are you even American? Did you go to school, you retard? I tried calling them, but they wouldn't come to the phone. And you 18, you're, you're a bunch of pukes of the Associated Press. You bunch of liberal creeps. And all, you know, all the other radio guy just rips and reads with the, the garbage you people at 18 put out. You make me sick. You and Reuters. You a bunch of jackasses. Yeah. Here's a quote. The deaths of seven fetuses. Guess what, jackass? When it's born, it's a baby. It's not a fetus. It's a Latin term for little person in the womb. Developing. Once it's born, it's a baby. He allegedly killed babies. Yeah, retard. How did he kill them? He sniffed the knife. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice that he allegedly sniffed their necks and somebody stood around watching him? Nurses stood around watching this guy do it. In, in, in weeks of like 24, 25, 26 allegedly. These are people that are trained in the medical industry that accepted a baby being born and then slaughtered it. Trust me, everyone is born equal under the eyes of the law, but then after that, forget about it. Look at Hitler and his men murdering six to eight million people. How many millions of Christians and Jews died under this guy? So yeah, you may be born equal under the lines of the law, but that's where it ends. There's some evil, perverted, disgusted people, even with doctorates. That doesn't impress me. That you could write a paper and get a doctorate. How many of you doctor murderers are out there? From the Hitler administration on, to the czars in Russia, and now the czars in America. And this creep we call a president, and that other creep George Bush, and the other creep Bill Clinton, and his minions go on there like they're holding over now while unborn babies are being slaughtered. You're a bunch of pigs. That's what you are, because you as the president can stop it with your executive order, can't you? You're going to stop with Bush, could you? And how about you, Clinton? Oh, you can't stop it with your executive order? I don't know about that. You tell me with your executive order, you can confiscate guns. You can send troops to be murdered overseas because of your internationalist agenda through your executive order. You don't need Congress. And you mean tell me you can't stop people from killing unborn babies? Oh, why? Because the Supreme Court said you can't. Since when did the executive listen to the Supreme Court? Since when? I thought in the McDonald case the Second Amendment was ruled to be an individual right to bear arms, but you know you got creeps like Cuomo in New York and Bloomberg in New York City that ignore it. They're just words on a piece of paper. And you can't stop it? Obama? Oslavo? George Bush, you couldn't stop it? Clinton, you can't stop it? Bush Sr., you couldn't stop it? You scum? The only good thing about you guys is you're all going to burn in hell for eternity. Every one of you. And every person that sits back and says, I don't know why. Yeah, it's a woman who makes the cheese. Hey, how can I even see with that? You're going to burn in hell too. There's no redemption for creeps. So this alleged baby, baby murderer, Dr. Gosnell, is accused of falsifying clinic records to show that no abortions have been performed beyond the legal limits of 24.5 weeks of pregnancy. It's amazing how people think they can just mess with records. And I would say to people that work for me or I work with, you know, if you miss a transmitter reading or something's wrong, admit to it. Just, you missed it. If you miss a commercial, you missed it. Sign your name. There'll be a makeup. But don't lie about it. And don't sign your name to a falsified paper. Admit you made a mistake and everything will be good. Well, you see, when you're a doctor, I guess you think you're above the law. 
you know, Jogan allegedly to one nurse that one of the babies was almost full term and, quote, could have walked to the bus stop, unquote. And then proceeded to snip the back of its neck and kill it. And what gets me is not, not just the murdering doctors, because that's what you guys are. If you're, if you're in, and sue me if you don't like it, I dare you. I dare you, you skunk, you scum. You have the Supreme Court behind you. They said you can kill an unborn child. I'm calling you a murderer, a piece of garbage, skunk, and scum. If you're an abortion provider. Why don't you sue me? Go ahead. You creep. You don't have the courage. Because you're a coward. You're a coward. Because you like killing little babies. You pig. You coward. Concept of abortion. Margaret Sanger hated blacks. Hated poor people. Hated anyone that wasn't her. Started in Atlanta, Planned Parenthood, for the purpose of slaughtering your people, unborn children. They're a bunch of murderers. This trial in Philadelphia is a testament to the fact that in the city of brotherly love, some people are finally waking up. And I'm originally from Philadelphia. Not really proud to say because murder clinics are widespread in the, in the non-city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, that allows this. How do we solve it? You know, most of life's questions can be answered very simply. If sheriffs once again grow a set, and if sheriffs stop being neutered and stop taking the position as being poll boys or delivery boys for the courts, they'll take action. Because the sheriff is the only lawful organization, as far as police are concerned, in the country that are obligated to protect your individual constitutional rights. And I'm not talking about the Bill of Rights. Because, you know, when we talk about the Bill of Rights, a lot of the anti-rights people will say, well, you know, that could be repealed. We can go ahead and, you can't repeal rights. Rights don't come from government. They don't come from man. They come from God. They are human rights given to us by God and are enumerated in a document that granted limited powers to individuals elected and are hired to oversee and perpetuate the growth of the fascist, Marxist, socialist, communist welfare state called the government. So when they were governing, under Article 1, Section 8, they would have limited powers. So no one, even if the First Amendment were repealed, or Second Amendment, or Third or Fourth, could take away those rights because they're inalienable. There are just ten that were enumerated because Hamilton, believe it or not, it was Hamilton, arguing against Jefferson, that said if we don't list at least ten, they'll say we don't have any. But Jefferson's like, no, they won't, because we have look at the Tenth Amendment, we have tons of them. Well, we know we have tons of them. Like the right to memory is not in the Constitution. No, 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 right. Can't be taken away. Can't be taken away by the legislature. The legislature cannot legislate the abolition of rights. Statute does supersede common law, but not common law rights. Lawyers, you need to get that straight. I know you probably weren't taught that in law school, but that's a fact. So how do you solve the issue of murdering unborn children? When obviously the court's not going to overturn it, even though they misinterpreted the language. Coward Americans are not going to do anything about it. It's not them. They don't see the destruction of the human life. They don't see babies being chopped up into pieces, the backs of the necks being snipped, them being chemically destroyed and mutilated. We're just concerned about repeating Adolf Hitler's atrocities. But, you know, more unborn children have been slaughtered since the 1970s than were slaughtered during the Hitler era. But we don't see that. The sheriffs walk into these murder clinics and arrest them. That will solve the problem. Elect sheriffs that have guts and they tell the federal and state officials, you have no authority and you have no jurisdiction over me. We arise from the common law. We arise from the sheriff of Nottingham. We existed prior to the Constitution, and we will exist long after. We arise as a protection from the people, from the common law, and we cannot be eliminated. We are the highest law enforcement officer in the state, in the county, we are the sheriff's department, 
when they're here, not as a statutory organization, but as a common law organization and a constitutional republic. And we are charging you with first degree murder. We are arresting you. And then what will happen? Well, I'm sure the court will release them, and then the Sheriff's Department arrests them again. And this can go on forever. The example I'll give is this. There is no doubt that you can travel in your means of transportation with no license, no registration, no insurance, untitled. You can actually do that. If you had a piece of property that, that was not built in inter or interstate commerce, that you had no license for, you had no registration, you had no, no title, no insurance, you can actually take that vehicle from point A to point B and travel. Because that's not driving. Words mean something. To drive means to go from point A to point B in inter or interstate commerce for the purpose of profit and gain. It came from driving horses and they were with the horses. When the old milk truck would come up or the old uh, ice truck would come up or the bread truck, it was driving horses. That's something you do in commerce. Travel is a constitutional common law right that dates back to 1215 and the Magna Carta. But evidently most of us aren't travelers, we're drivers in a regulated system. However, if you attempted to do that, you would be pulled over in every jurisdiction you went through and the expense of going to court would break you. So even though one can argue, I have a constitutional right to travel, it try to do it. Because every step of the way you're going to be stopped every step of the way. Well, I say, use the same tactic to stop people from murdering unborn children. What if the Supreme Court came out and said, it is legal to kill an undocumented immigrant? We rule they're not a citizen. They're not guaranteed the protection, like unborn children evidently aren't, under the 14th Amendment, the Equal Protection Clause. They're not guaranteed that protection. So if you determine that someone is an illegal, undocumented immigrant, you can kill them. And we go around killing them. Well, what happens? The Supreme Court says it's okay. Can the Sheriff's Department stop that? Well, of course the Sheriff's Department can stop it. And the Sheriff's Department stops you on your way to killing an undocumented immigrant. And you end up in jail. And the court says, you can't put this guy in jail. He's allowed to kill undocumented immigrants. And then you get out and they arrest you again. They arrest you again. Well, see, you want to stop the murdering of unborn children in America. That's the solution. You get sheriffs that have guts. They're not just there for traffic stops. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, can I ask you what you think you did? Why do you think I stopped you? Well, sir, uh, was I speeding? Well, yes, you were. You were, you were exceeding the speed limit by eight miles per hour. And you agreed by statute to follow all the rules and regulations of the vehicle code. Even though you didn't damage anybody or hurt anything, you agreed, it's implied consent, that you would do 55, you did 63, so I'm issuing you a ticket. Because basically you're my partner. <laughs> is that what the Sheriff's Department is about? Or is it about checkpoints, like in Nazi Germany? How, how, how good could one feel to stop every single car to see if their underwear is dirty? Oh, uh, yeah. Can I see your driver's license, registration, insurance? Uh, did, uh, do you have your inspection sticker to pay your state and local and federal tax? Where's that sticker at? Blah, blah, blah. What the hell is that? Is that enforcing law? Is that why the founders risked everything when they died poor and millions of men died? So you can be stopped at a checkpoint by a sheriff's department or a police department or the state? Is that what we're about? Tell me you're afraid and I will punch you in your face. I swear to God, if you see me on the street and you tell me you're free, I will risk going to jail. I will punch you square in your face because you're not free. You're a damn slave under occupation since the War of Northern Aggression and Abraham Lincoln. And you dare put his picture up still. What are you thinking, Southerners? What are you thinking, Tennessee? You lost your identity in the North. To the Northeast Liberal Establishment. Grow some gahunas. Make a stand. Have an opinion. Stop backing down and being cowards. Sheriff's Department, you should be enforcing the common law. Individual rights. 
stopping these baby murderers, stopping the federal government from trying to take our guns and register our guns. Who do you think you are, Diane Feinstein, you big fat pig, that you can question whether or not I own a gun? How dare you, you San Francisco pig? Why don't you jump off the San Francisco Bridge? It's none of your damn business. That is my property right, miss, or Ms. whatever it may be. You will never question my gun ownership. That is my individual God-given constitutional authorized right. You get it, pig? Go back to legislating health care and death care for everyone except your buddies in Congress. That's, it doesn't apply to you. Isn't that great that it's not applicable to the Congress, but it's applicable to you? Sheriff's Department, grow some. You want to stop the murdering of unborn children? Arrest these guys. Walk in there, put handcuffs on them. And when the court releases them, do it again. And do it again. And do it again. And do it again. Because every time you do it, and every time they're in jail, they're not slaughtering an unborn child. And you phony, you phony Christians out there, say, ah, uh, yeah, I worship, I do my works, but you know it's a woman's right to choose. You big bunch of phony cowards. Religious Coalition for Productive Choice, RCRC. Quote, most self-identified pro-choicers given by their God-given conscience to say they are not comfortable with abortion, that they do not like abortion. And they would uh, they would support efforts to make abortions rare. However, they're squeamish. These protestants, some of these old Protestants, these online protestants, including the Methodist Church, some of the Presbyterian Church, USA Episcopal Church, and the United Church of Christ, that tolerate this. The liberals within the church don't want to impose their views or or their will on people. How dare we tell them what to do with their body? What not to do with the body. Though no more religious than a monkey in a zoo, trust me. No more religious than a monkey in a zoo. God despises people like these children. They're a reprobate mind. He despises them. There is no salvation from them. I'm going to tell you something that every single preacher disagrees with me. Everyone. Not everyone can be saved. You know that? You kill an unborn child. You can't be saved. God says, you throw a stone around your neck and dump you into the deep dystocia. It's called an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You harm a child, you're done. You're going to hell forever. You're going to burn. You're going to suffer in an eternity. There's no way you can say, well, in John, all I have to do is repent of my sins, believe Christ saved us, and I'm saved. And all. Is this this abortion doctor that allegedly murdered 16 Thousand, six, ten, thousand unborn children has any chance of redemption. If you do, you're stupid. You really are stupid. But the government's busy putting people in prison for not doing what they think they should do. For not bowing down to them and filing every piece of paper they want to file on their time frame. You see, if you want the government to respond, they don't have any time frame. They can do it whatever they want. But if you don't do it, whoa! How dare you disrespect me or my court for the rules? The rules say, well, it's interesting. Why do rules just apply to us and not you? You see, when government is afraid of you, you're in control. When you're afraid of the government, they're in control. And we have a nation of cowards and sheep. They're in control. Get control back. Bishop Nascar, Tennessee Talk, Southern Rock, Chicken Chicken Country, 1240 The Copper Hill, this is the